Welcome back everyone uh, to another beer review. Ladies, gents, everyone who's watching. Uh, thanks for watching and what have you. Uh, today's beer review is a, a comparison video that I'm gonna do uh, between basically two of the same beers, but in a different format, or on a different format, or how you wanna call it. And one of the old, good old Aldi's fake beers of that brand. Uh, so yeah, what's coming up now uh, is a three-way comparison video. Uh, in the background there, I have Birra Moretti on the blade. So that will be Birra Moretti Draft. Uh, I also have a bottle of Birra Moretti. Uh, this is UK brewed, that is UK brewed apparently. And the fake one is the Birra Mapelli from Aldi's. So, uh, that's what I'm going to be comparing. I'll get through some of the spill now. Uh, 500ml bottle, 4.6% 99p from Aldi's. 660ml bottle, part of a 3 for a fiver. So this is coming in, this one's actually, I think it's normally £2.20 odd, but this is actually coming in at about £1.67. 4.6% uh, again, exactly the same percentage. And in the background, in there, is the UK brewed dra uh, blade draft Birra Moretti, uh, also 4.6%. Now that's an eight litre keg, and that coming at 31 pound. Uh, how can I work that out? To make it sort of simple, excuse me, uh, 31 pound, not officially 16 pint. You get 16 of these bottles for 31 pound so you're talking about one pound 90 for the same size of that but the proper draft one uh, so there's the difference in price you've got 99p then you've got the one pound 67 while it's on that offer for a bigger bottle as well and then you've got the one pound 90 for the draft version of moretti but for that amount of beer in it so uh any second now i've got the glasses chilling uh i'll go and pour the moretti uh, i did try one yesterday the keg was rather lively uh so i may have trouble with that so i'll pour that first we can see that and then i'll get on with the other two and then we'll crack on with the review so bear with me for a few seconds i'll be back you'll see a video of the pour and then we'll take the rest from there so back in a tick guys cheers <laughs> Well, I'm back as you can see absolutely shocking poor glasses chilled and everything maybe the kegs just that little bit lively so I'm gonna let that settle uh, and then we'll crack on with the others uh, I did chill them all all the glasses and that they had water in they've been in the freezer chilling down uh, so just quickly uh, the keg design let's just pick the camera up so I'm here there we go the label on the keg design is pretty much identical to uh, to the to the bottles and that, uh, and then obviously I do like the old Birra Moretti label. I do like that, and I do like the old bottle cap on there. So that's that one. We'll get that into a glass. No doubt, I'm going to have a lot more joy with this one pouring it. Uh, that one's a bit of a I have to leave that for about a week and a half, I think, before I can do anything with it. But that's gone quite lively as well, to be fair. Ooh, thought I was going to have to take the top off that with the old gob there. So that's the Moretti. Uh, and let's get the Mapelli out. I don't like that label. It just does look like a cheap, tacky version of uh, the Moretti. You know, hops and the leaves on the bottle cap. Inoffensive, really. I do like a different bottle cap that isn't plain, but not so, not so impressed with the label. Uh, unfortunately, I only got two Moretti glasses. That smells a bit skunky. Uh, but we'll see what we get. I'm not convinced all this chilling the glasses helps, to be honest, because 
I've not had much joy with the bloody paw. If I'm totally honest, yeah, that's, oh, that's skunky as hell. That smells awful, if I'm totally honest. So, obviously, so here we go. <laughs> it is going down slightly. It is going down. I may have to take a bit off there, but I'll just leave it settle in a glass. That's the Moretti out of the blade. Looks golden light colour, uh, a 25 and a half foot head on it. Plenty of carbonation coming up. It's a nucleated glass. It looks as you'd expect. This one is the bottle one. Now, in from what I'm seeing, this looks a lot more, a, a bit darker. Uh, seems to have more carbonation going on in it and a slightly smaller head. And this one, again, seems similar in colour, but maybe slightly different. There's certainly not the carbonation in this, and even the Colesberg glass is nucleated. The head's got bigger bubbles. It's not so, not so, well, I don't know. It's not looking bad, to be honest. It doesn't look bad, but from what I got on the aroma, it did sm smell a bit skunky. Uh, so what I'll try and do now, is we'll go in with the Draft Moretti. I don't know how much do I'm going. I might have to take some of this off just to... To see if I can get some nose on it. It's a thick old head on there. and it's, uh, I'm not getting much swirl on that. Bit of lemon. A little bit malty, a little bit of a, a sweetness in there. I wouldn't say it smells fantastic if I'm totally honest for me. It does. I'll have to I'll, I'll have to do the comparison with the bottle. From what I remember the bottle's smelling like, it doesn't smell as good as the bottle in my opinion. Uh, from that last small bottle that I've done, the UK brewed one. So, but the head's really holding there, whereas this one's going down a little bit. I can swill it around a bit. So this is the bottle beer of Moretti. Excuse me, nose in there. Not really getting a lot off it all, actually. I'm getting a bit. I'm definitely getting more off that. Yeah, I can't really. Not really picking up an awful lot from that, if I'm totally honest. And last but not least. We'll go in with uh, the Aldi's Birima Pelli. I'm getting a bit more off that, but I think I'm just getting that a bit of a skunky sort of aroma to it. So let's try and compare all three together. Definitely getting more off this, the draft one. Than that a lot more lemon in the nose I would say it does smell better that one uh, so we'll do the bottled uh, Moretti Christ eight minutes in isn't a lot of difference between these two on the nose maybe there's a little bit of maybe skunkiness in there that I'm sort of picking up uh, but but there's not much on all, either of them. The only thing that's got is maybe a little bit of skunkiness. So let's try these two now. Yeah, I mean that smells. This it's got to be said the blade one smells a lot better. Doesn't smell fantastic, but it does smell a lot better than the other two. So tell you what, let's top these guys up. Let's get the old Mapelli topped up because we've done all that rubbish with the nose so I can get a good bloody drink in there. If you bear with me, I may try and get a little bit more in this pint of Moretti while I'm here. So two ticks. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me, still getting a big head on it. <laughs> Probably the worst one I've had for trying to pour a drink actually out of there. Uh, oh, so without further ado, sorry this is dragging on, but a three-way thing, Christ, could go on for about 25 minutes, I hope not. 
Uh, so let's dive in on the Moretti, the, the, the blade one. A slightly sweet malty taste in there. Maybe it's... I'm, get, I'm guessing when it says Rosetta, Rosetta, original, it's brewed with rice. Uh, whether that sweetness is sort of the rice and the malts. You're getting that lemon in there, uh, a sort of lemon taste with the malts. It's, don't get me wrong, it's not the greatest lager going. It's by far the greatest lager going. Carbonation isn't too much in your mouth. Body's okay on it. It's it's just a a, a good premium premium lager. Uh, no bells and whistles, nothing outstanding, but does the job. And it's a sessionable chuck down your neck beer. Uh, so let's go on to now. Excuse me, Chris. Been to spoon for me dinner and I had a few beers there, so a bit gassed out. So let's crack on now with uh, the the Birra Moretti, also uh, UK brewed, Rosetta one, Rosetta. Uh, out of the bottle, see what we get here. So, cheers. Very different drinks. Very different, and thinner in body, sweeter, in my view, the bottled one. <laughs> Not so lemony, but a bit more sort of bready, bready sweetness to it in my view. Good, just go back to this one again. Very different. Tastes very different. Uh, and... I'm a bit of a sucker for the, the sweet bready maltiness to it, to most lagers. Uh, and, and that kind of edges me to this, but I like the lemon sort of side to that. It's maybe a bit cleaner, this one. Uh, so let's dive in with uh, Audi's Birra Mapelli. 99p for a 500ml, see what we get here now. Big sweet bready malt, bready sort of taste to it. And quite enjoyable uh, for what it is. For me, all you're getting out of that though is is that sweet breadiness to it. Uh, not really the sort of lemon. And me sitting here, we're seeing three different drinks in a glass. Looks wise, the, the blade one is the lightest one. The bottled one is that little bit darker and then the Mapelli, the Audi's one is a lot darker still. So, Christ, this is hard to do three because Christ, you're drinking all of it. <coughs> excuse me, big time, excuse me big time, honestly. So let's go in again. Picking up more sweetness with this than I did before. More lemon in there without a doubt. 4.6%. Wouldn't argue with that. Very little bitterness to it. Oh. God, 
This is old. For me, the bottled Moretti has a nicer, smoother mouthfeel. <coughs> but maybe doesn't taste as nice as that. Uh, if the mouthfeel was the other way, other way round, that'd be that'd be bang on. That would. Uh, Oh yeah, quite a big bubbles in that, a lot of carbonation, really sort of, it, it almost like rips your mouth apart, the carbonation does at times, even though it, it, ironically enough there's less carbonation going on in there than the other two, but quite harsh on the mouth. So I'm going to try and come to a conclusion now, the video's going on quite a bit. Gas galore, this one. Good job I don't edit my videos. I'd spend half the night editing when I get rid of all the gas. Right. Right, I'm coming to the conclusion now. Conclusion. The two bottles that I have Oh shit, here we go, here we go, here we go. The two bottles that I have, the Mapelli and the Moretti, I think are not a uh, sort of you get a bit nicer because they're not so chilled, bear with me again. Terrible this is, oh god. I'll tell you what, don't do a three beer. <coughs> Excuse me. Lager comparison, especially if they're rather gassy. Uh, yeah, for me, <coughs> the bottles are actually nicer because they're that little bit warmer, I think. The Moretti is chilled down to uh, two degrees. And it's very nice, and don't get me wrong, uh, I would imagine a summer's day, a hot day, you would maybe appreciate it more. But I feel like it's lacking a little bit in flavour for me. Uh, The bottled Moretti, I'm getting a bit more flavour from it, but I'm also getting this this typical sort of bottle just in the background. Just in the background, I'm just getting this this typical bottle sort of tang to the beer. Uh, I prefer the taste of this one. Now this. I think I prefer the taste of it because it's that little bit sweeter. But it doesn't have the lemon. The lemon sort of taste that this has. But this one lacks the sweetness of that one. Now whether that's because of the temperature, I'm not sure. And now on to I'll be a bag of fucking bubbles after this, I tell you. The Mapelli, a lot harsher in the mouth. And although it's nice and respectable enough for the price, uh, it doesn't compete with the other two for me. Uh, it's, 
how can I put it? It's, it's actually closer to that one than it is to this. And it's quite, they're very different drinks, them are. Even though they're the same brewed stuff, they do. They taste very different. And I think I could honestly say it would depend on what side you like. Uh, as in taste wise, this, this isn't so sweet, the blade one for me. It's a fresh keg, don't get me wrong. There's only been a couple of pints out of it. It could all change sort of as you get down the keg. Uh, but, oh, it's a tough, I'll tell you what, this is a tough one. This is tough. But yeah, I'm starting to get that, that tang off that. That bottled Moretti, that sort of typical sort of premium lager tank that you get from all the bottles. Uh, let me top this one up again. 21 minutes in, I do apologise. Just another taste on it. Only a little bit in there, I've been good. I really do apologise for keeping you so long. Hopefully, this ain't this ain't. But hopefully, I'm getting all my points across. It's a tough one. Yeah, very different beers altogether. Uh, if I'm going to be totally honest, for me, in third place is the Mapelli. From Aldi's, 99p for a 500ml bottle. But decent though. I mean, it's not undrinkable. That is... That is alright, that is. Uh, oh, this is, this is tough. I'll tell you what. Uh, obviously, this is holding the head much better. But that's doing an extremely good job as well. Obviously, that's only just been poured. Uh, I think this holds the head better. You are getting a decent draft beer. But they are both very different beers. Uh, which one is better? Uh, more lemon in the draft from the Blade one. More of a sweet malty bready sort of taste if you like biscuit taste in there but this one the bottled one does start to get that bit of a a bottled sort of tang to it so <laughs> I think I actually prefer the bottle one but if I was having a session on it I think I'd get bored with it Whereas maybe this one, I wouldn't. Uh, but very smooth, very smooth to drink. It's a tough one. Uh, if I'm going to be critical, as I said, third place, Birra Mapelli from Aldi's, 99p, 500ml. Still okay to drink. It, it it's certainly not. It's not going to match the German stuff, or the Czech pilsners. For a, for a bog standard brewed beer, this is all right, and it's all right for the price. But that comes in third. For me, I'm going to put this second. Just because I think after two or three bottles, and that sort of taste on the back end is going to catch up with you uh, it's nice to start off with don't get me wrong but I think after a few of them it would just be bottled beer bottled beer typical premium sort of lager that would just end up giving you that taste uh, but in first place and just it really is just is Moretti on draft uh, 
it doesn't for me it doesn't lack the initial punch or sweetness or it's initially it's not the best flavor for me but it is smoother and it doesn't have that sort of aftertaste to it at the end once you've had a bit this still tastes the same as when I had the first one where I'm starting to get a little bit of an aftertaste with that so out of the three Birra Mapelli from Aldi's third place the bottled Birra Moretti second but the winner is the Birra Moretti from the blade and and that's it so there's the comparison done apologies for waffling on too long uh anyone let's just let's just get this cleared up uh Aldi's beer is very decent well worth a purchase if you're thinking of getting one it's not the worst lager in the world don't get me wrong it's not the best but it's certainly not the worst Birra Moretti is a uh, for the price you can pick it up for it's it's worth it it's an enjoyable lager it's just a session chuck down your neck drink and uh if you've got the blade uh and you like the moretti this is probably going to be the better option for you if you're thinking of getting it get it it's slightly different from the bottles for me well it's very different from the bottles very different from the bottles look it looks so much lighter so much different but it's a nice sessionable drink to get down and you're getting the draft beer for it. So uh, that's it for me. So thanks for watching everyone. Apologies if I waffled on for too long. Apologies for the amount of gas that's just splurted out my mouth. And there's a bit more coming. <coughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> and that's about it. So like, share me video. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribers, non-subscribers, much appreciated. Uh, uh, I've, I've been lingering around the 235 mark on subscribers. So anyone that would like to subscribe, tell you what, I, I said I'd wait till 280. Three or four, five, six subscribers, push me up to the 240 mark, please, because that'd be much appreciated. Thank you once again for watching. I'm on Facebook and Twitter under all the being no idea. Uh, subscribe to me, watch the channel. Uh, lots of new stuff coming up. Uh, lots, you know, PD bottles and all that lot. And that's about it. So I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to let you go on with your evening. Enjoy the rest of your bank holiday weekend. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you again on another beer review. Cheers.